check check youtube what's good man should bj coming back to you guys with another day in the life this week we're out back in nashville at the 100 taylor building that we was at last week you can see 100 taylor and uh we're actually gonna have a rehearsal tonight it's actually not the the actual gig spot but just rehearsal we're playing at the soho house in nashville tomorrow but we have a quick rehearsal with the band tonight so i'm gonna load in and show you guys some rehearsal footage and then i will catch up with you guys then youtube what is going on man it's your boy bj coming to you guys with another day in the life and we're doing you know what i'm saying the good old post commentary and you guys know what time it is man it would not be a vlog if your boy did not have a time lapse so we're in 100 taylor in a different studio space this time um and actually this was my first time in this space but ended up working out pretty nicely uh it's super dope you can tell they do a lot of uh, photo shoots and just photography in this room the way it was it was decked out it was really cool but um just doing my you know what i'm saying quick setup nothing crazy all i did uh for the rehearsal was just kick snare and hat i want to keep it real minimalistic and just you know what i'm saying have enough enough real estate for everyone to be um in this spot we was in it was not nothing crazy so you now so i just wanted to get the meat and potatoes of the songs down because this was our first time running and the way we had the band set up we actually had keys bass uh drums and flute so it was a really interesting ensemble but i mean it was really dope to be able to um you know what I'm saying connect with some other guys and musicians from the scene so ironically enough i did know the keyboard player already he actually um played football at my high school with my um uh, best friend's older brother so he's along with you know what I'm saying the older group of guys that i saw and i haven't saw him probably since like 2012 so it was you know what I'm saying super record coincidence that i ran into him uh the flute player was a uh a young lady that i already knew of like from being in the nashville scene and just like checking out her instagram content so she is super dope so shout out to sarah and then i had my boy on guitar as he's walking in with gnarly right now as you can see uh, and ja and man super dope guy on bass so you know what i'm saying we held it down man it was a pretty great ensemble and i'm going to show you guys some rehearsal footage that i was able to capture but we're all just loading in and you know what i'm saying just showing the setup of the room and the vibe so i'm gonna let you guys check out that and here we go <laughs> So yeah, man, that was rehearsal pretty much. We uh went over, I think it was a total of six songs, five or six, if I'm not mistaken. But uh super dope vibe. We pretty much had like pizza and you know what I'm saying drinks laid out that we just uh sat around and ate and you know what I'm saying sipped and just talked and chilled for a little bit and then your boy headed back headed back into the city to uh rest up and get some sleep for the next day, which led me into Monday. And on Monday, we had an eventful day. I went to my favorite chicken spot in Nashville known as Hattie B's. I got their chicken sandwich, my favorite go-to. Kept it pretty simple and I had to get that peach cobbler. And then after that, I headed over to Forks for my first time and we're gonna pick it up there. YouTube checking back in. It's the day after rehearsal, so I have some free time and we are at Forks Drum Closet. It's my first time here, so I'm about to see what they have and see if we can have some nice little come up. So just look around really, so. I see you guys on the video. The wire is hot. Yo. <laughs> the 
Why does this guy know how you live? You do. Jerry, yes, sir, bro. First time in, just looking. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, your boy was like a kid in a candy store, but I was a drummer in a drum store. Forks is absolutely insane. Like, drum shops in itself, like, are really a dying breed, as my big cousin was telling me. Like, he's been around in the scene for a while, and he's seen, like, Steve Maxwell's up in New York before they transitioned into their new location. When they, he tells me stories about how. You know what I'm saying? Insane it is. And he's told me numerous times I have to go to Forts. My boy Jay White has told me numerous times I have to go to Forts. Like, you go upstairs and you see their symbol selection. Peisty. They had Dream Symbols. Istanbul. Sabian. Zildjian. Mino. Like, you know what I'm saying? The big dogs for sure. They had pretty much any and everything that you could imagine. And it was just a dope, you know what I'm saying? Experience to just be literally immersed and cymbals and drums and gear and hardware from top to bottom like is an experience like no other so i was definitely 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 um impressed by the selection that they had and for it being my first time it just felt like such a warm vibe you know what i'm saying the employees were um super welcoming and they were just like you know what i'm saying very informing about any questions that you had just super you know what i'm saying super dope guys to be around super dope hangs but Overall, I didn't find anything, um, you know what I'm saying, that I could afford that day. <laughs> like, I had some things that I had on my on my drum list for sure that I wanted to check out. Uh, a lot of Sabian gear for sure. A lot of um, uh, splashes that I was in the mix for. But also, like, I've been really into effect symbols. So, checking out a lot of that stuff. But you guys see it, bro. From DW Collectors to the pearl presidential over here we're about to see the dw performance series like just everything bro bosphorus symbols like just it was stacked it was very stacked uh it was my first time actually playing um a few of the symbols in there like that i had been looking at a few of the legacy and artisan sabian symbols i've been checking out uh the peisty uh effect symbols i'm really into their stuff so i was checking out that but i mean like i said guys the video is honestly just proof in the pudding so if you guys are ever in nashville please do yourself a favor go check out forks it is just you know what i said dope i know i keep saying it but it's dope so uh at this point i'm pretty much just gonna you know what I'm saying vibe out show the v-roll just let you guys see more of the kits uh all of the gearheads in the comments y'all can leave comments about what you see that i did not know about or anything like that and time stamp it for anybody else that wants to check it out so uh yeah like i said i'll be back with an update once i get to the car but i'm pretty much gonna let this v-roll just vibe out and let you guys kind of just enjoy the drums so yep see you guys in the car once i leave with an update
yo checking back in guys so i didn't get anything crazy out of forts i just got some sticks um just read up on some sticks but they had a lot of stuff in there that i had on my list of things that i did want uh and they also had a few things that i didn't unfortunately get to try out so i did add some more things to my gear wants a uh, little note in my phone but other than that uh dope experience forts is a super 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 historical place so if anybody's in nashville definitely recommend you guys check it out but uh just wanted to check back in tell you guys what i got just read up on sticks and yeah that was about it so i think i'll check back into you guys once we start doing sound check and loading in for the venue tonight so i'll see you guys then yo guys what's good just got to the venue uh loading out right now hopefully i'm in the right parking spot i don't know yet but i'm about to walk around see if i get some info to see what i can load into and i will see you guys in the venue once we officially like load in and get to set up and stuff so yep yeah. Checking back in YouTube and as you guys can see the venue had a wonderful aesthetic to it that uh, was very fitting of the Soho house so uh, I just had some V-roll footage of uh, me setting up the drums really quick and uh, quick funny story is I actually thought I lost my hi-hat clutch I was digging through my cymbal bag could not find it <laughs> and I was tweaking out so I ended up buying another one but it is my favorite hi-hat clutch of all time the gibraltar quick release hi-hat clutch if you know you know uh super convenient so i had to get another one even though i found it it is what it is but as you guys can hear during sound check man the other artists were killing and they um absolutely you know what i'm saying did their thing during their show i thought i would show that during sound check but the engineers were waiting on me to get set up even though i had the most components i was in the time crunch just because they were running behind but it is what it is it happens so uh, i was just you know what i'm saying getting all my stuff put together and getting ready for the show so i'm going to show like a quick overview of the kit still running a 14 inch ssr hi-hats uh my orange county 14 by 6 20 inch crash of doom 18 inch freak hat 19 inch soul tone crash ride and my 18 uh, splash that, that I use for like effects and claps kind of stuff but backstage in the green room we had a nice burger smacking cooked medium to perfection uh, showing another overlook of the kit once again uh, we went up first so it was a nice little uh, aesthetic that we had going on in the green room so once I set up I could just chill out because like I said we we're performing first but uh these cookies i got from one of the vendors was also dope so your boys on his fat boy stuff not gonna lie i was grabbing pretty good but uh just you know what i'm saying chilling backstage everybody had they nice spiffy suits and suited and booted attire on as my boy Qualls <laughs> is trying to learn how to tie his bow tie we were giving him a hard time about it my boy could not get it on but he was still spiffy so uh i'm just gonna fast forward and show you guys uh us performing now so it's about that time so hope you guys enjoy the footage of me playing with gnarly so man here we go it's showtime Wait, wait, wait. 
YouTube, that is gonna wrap it up, guys. As you can see, man, everybody else was smacking on the kick. Everyone else sent it. 
wonderful your boy had a time uh after the last band went on we pretty much just like had a nice salute backstage with everyone uh so shout out to all of the good guys man it was wonderful you know what i'm saying we just kicked it tore it down and just fellowshiped everybody was you know what i'm saying flicking pictures but i'm going to do my outro and i'll see you guys later well youtube that wraps up the night um heading back to the homies crib to get some sleep and i'm going to head back to chat in the morning but i thought i'd go ahead and get the outro knocked out here so uh overall great 10 out of 10 experience shout out to my dog gnarly for letting me be a part of the band shout out to all of the instrumentalists all of the artists that killed tonight super dope vibe uh definitely 10 out of 10 recommend the soho house was a w experience for my first time being there and it was just a great all around gig really so uh like i said i guess i'll end the vlog here so like comment subscribe guys thank you so much for the support recently man we've been going up crazy enough on my last video i think i was asking for like 300 subs or 200 actually i can't remember but all i know is this week we took off and your boy is almost to a thousand subs so man please uh help your boy get there like i said thank you so much for the support and uh just the all-around love you guys have been showing on these videos hope you guys are enjoying the content and if you want to keep up with me socials all this stuff is in the link in the bio but yes your boy bj signing off y'all be blessed until the next one peace